Hi everybody, uh, Complete Pete here again. Uh, I already had a video showing how to get the uh, your kayak up on the roof for your car. I did have a uh, viewer ask a question on how I strap the kayak down to the roof of the car and uh, I didn't think of showing that I guess so I'm going to do it now for you. Jim, hope you subscribe Jim by the way. Um, a couple things we use. We'll show the kayak up on the uh, on the car shortly. Uh, what we use are these uh, NRS 12 foot straps. I cannot uh, recommend any any higher uh, the use of the strap. This is a great strap. Uh, they're very wide. They hold like crazy, and they don't squish the boat down. I would definitely not use a ratchet strap or anything like that. Believe me, when these boats are up on the roof of the car and it's hot out. Uh, they will deform, they will bulge, and this way uh, you're going to keep your boat in one piece. So I would definitely recommend getting a set of these. Uh, I, also, I also connect the, uh, the, uh, the bow and the stern uh, down to the back of the car. One of the things I use is, is this Malone quick strap. I'll show you how to use this in a few minutes. Uh, these, this actually goes into the trunk and under the hood and the little bit of strap just hangs out and that's how I attach the front. Uh, Thule also makes one. Uh, this piece isn't rigid plastic, it's more of a flexible like a hose. So I, I, I think that's the one I would go with next if I had to buy any more of these. This would be the front strap. Um, you do get straps with some of these rack kits and things like that. These do tend to loosen up. Uh, we invested in a set of these moose straps. We also ATV and things like that, so we're kind of familiar with the moose name. This strap is a freebie with your kit. This strap you're going to pay probably 50 bucks for a set of four of these. Um, I would invest in the 50 bucks. Um, we never have to stop to tighten up straps with, with the moose straps, so I, I would recommend these for your fore and aft. If you have a Subaru, and this is kind of a strange thing, if you have a Subaru sedan vehicle or, or other manufacturer vehicle and you want to uh, use an access point, generally in the rear bumper is a small cover. Uh, this will be in with your spare tire. This, uh, this piece of steel will actually thread in and this is what the tow company would use to pull you out. So you can actually just use this screwed into the rear bumper and I'll show you that. But you can also put your, your hook through it. Um, and it, it's an excellent tie down point. Some folks also use a shackle. Uh, we don't because it happens to hit the car when the car is moving. Uh, there's bushings that you can get to go in here. Uh, basically this would just hang out of the bumper of the car and you can get a, it, it moves and you can get a couple of things strapped down to it. Like I said, we just strap into just the, uh, just the, the pulling eye itself uh, for our purposes. So give me a couple minutes, I'll get this up on top of the car and I'll be right back. I, I did one already. I just got it uh, loop, looped over for now. What I do is I take the NRS strap, I usually go with the, with the letters down and I'm just gonna stick it under the rack with my short little legs. I'll reach over here, pull the strap through. I'll take one end and I just throw it over the top of the boat. <laughs> Fucking wind. <laughs> okay, I take the one end, just stick it through letters down. I'll take my one end of the strap, toss it over the top of the boat. I take the other end. It's a pretty uh, heavy duty. It's a very well-made buckle on there. It holds really well because it's so big and the strap is so wide. Key tip. Don't have too much of this hanging out because you'll throw it over and crack your window on the other side. So I have just enough where I can get it over the top of the boat. And basically it's gonna look like that on this side. Just loop under the rack, don't bring it under the boat. This is where I'm at so far. Pro tip, don't tighten all the straps down as hard as you can. Uh, just get it snug down. You might have to move the boat uh, a little bit. What I do is I just pull up on the NRS strap a little bit. I will run it underneath. Here, we will just get it right into the bottom. I'll just press the button here. We'll get it right up into the bottom of this thing. Pull it through while I'm holding on the, the little catch and just snug it up a little bit for now. And, and that's it. And the nice thing about these straps, if you use the little three quarter inch wide ratchet straps or something like that, you'll put it on. This boat is cool. If the sun was shining during the day, this boat gets hot. Especially most of the boats are different colors, like dark colors. If you ratchet strap that boat down, you'll actually squeeze the boat 
in and you can actually damage the, the gunnels or the side of the boat. We've had this boat in particular just in the back of a pickup truck uh, in the sun and we've actually, uh, on top of another kayak, we've dented the bottom in. Uh, so it doesn't take much to really get these things out of shape and it'll tell you right in the manual, don't tighten it down uh, too tight. And that's the beauty of these wide straps. Um, I have this one here also. We'll just do the same thing. Just bring it up, press the button, and just snug it up a little bit. Okay, this is the important part. The, uh, the straps holding the main boat are, are not all you need. It's possible for this thing to move uh, back and forth, especially if you jam on the brakes or have to stop short. You really want to fasten from the back and the front. I won't go through the whole thing, uh, but where I start is to get our, get our moose strap on the back handle, and then I use the, uh, the quick strap. And the quick strap is great. Whether it's the hard or the soft version, I just toss it right in the trunk, close the trunk lid, and I have a really strong attachment point to strap onto here. So we take this strap, a uh, little protective material here, and we strap onto this piece of material from the, from the Malone quick strap. Um, like I said, Thule makes a nice one too. Uh, the other thing, if you're Subaru specific, and uh, you'd be popping out this little cover right here. You can see how it's a little chewed up. Once you pop that out, there's steel framework in there. This is where the bolt goes. So God forbid you're ever in a ditch somewhere and the tow truck comes, they're gonna pull this out of your trunk and this is what they're gonna put their hook on to to pull you out. But this also makes a very con convenient uh, tie down point. Once it's screwed into the framing, you bring your, your moose strap down and right onto this point, you could bring uh, two boats down and fit two hooks through this hole. Um, and I'll show you where the quick strap goes in the front in a second. Okay, next we do the front. So the front strap, same thing with our moose strap. And like I said, you get a set of four of these, you can put two boats up on the roof of your car. So it's just the same exact thing. Get your moose strap on there. There's also little nylon straps that go through as a loop that you can tie this onto. Again, with the Malone or Thule version of the quick strap, not Subaru specific, any car. Basically pop the hood, you drop, you drop it in there, close the hood gives you a really strong access point to extend this strap down. Okay, now that we have the boat up on top and I showed you how to install the front and rear straps the way I do it, um, the last thing I do is I will, I'll just move this up so the buckle is up on the boat. You can see they have a nice protective material on there to protect the boat. And you basically just pull down and that tightens up the straps enough to hold it. Uh, one of the things you don't want to do on your nice fantastic expensive strap set is to leave this flapping in the wind. Um, if you ever seen like an American flag that's left out all the time from snapping and flapping in the wind, uh, you'll see it gets all frayed. So what I do is I will actually uh, wrap this around several times, you know, fairly, fairly tight. Um, I'll bring it around and then I'll just bring the end through one of my loops like that and I'll just pull it tight. So what happens is that kind of keeps all the strapping there. I mean, you can go through another time if you want, depending how much material you have left there. Something like that. And that way you don't have any excess material. The strap's not flapping in the wind. Um, you know, here, and same thing with the back. Okay, back again. While I was out of here, I just thought maybe you might also want to know how to mount your kayak to a Yakima J hook. Yakima or equal. Use the same, my same NRS 12 strap. And all I do is I take that strap and I stick it right through the, uh, the J hook here. And I just kind of pull it uh, till I have about a 50, 50 mix. The next thing I do is I walk it around the front over the nose of the boat and flip it up. And what I want to do is just rock my boat a little bit and get the straps up to the top. Of, and I'm just going to take a peek at that. Yeah, I'm up at the top. So that's where I want to be with that. Then we're going to do the same thing uh, we did before. We're just going to bring the strap underneath. Just pull up on our, and this does get twisted. I'm not too concerned about that. We just pull the strap through. I'm going to press on my button. I'm going to bring the strap right through the back there. 
move this up a little bit and we're gonna pull down on it just to, to get it tensioned. So you'll get to the right tension. I mean, that's, that's not tight, but once you get two of these wide straps on there, uh, next thing we're gonna do is wrap our extra material around like we talked about. And we could just bring it right through, right through our strap just to lock down the end. And sometimes you have to go through twice if you can't, uh, if you have no di idea of dimensions like I do. And you just pull this through the other side and tighten it up. And uh, you do the same thing with the back J-hook. Then you'll still use your same uh, front and rear mounting points like we discussed earlier in this video.